What is going on guys? It is me, Newest, and I am back with another Souls RNG video. As you can see by the title, new macro. Originally, I thought I wouldn't have to recreate the macro, but I was very wrong. They actually moved two of the spawn points in their terrain changes. If I come over here, both this spawn point and this spot right here were moved to different locations. So what I did is I reevaluated and I remade the macro for you guys to work better in era 8.5. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the steps. And obviously, if you guys have watched my previous macro video, you'll know most of the steps. It's about the same. But for those of you who haven't, I'm going to go over them again and a couple extra settings as well that I wasn't aware of in the last macro video, just a little quicker for you guys. So, so let's get into it. Once again, for this macro, what you guys are going to have to do is you're going to have to download Tiny Task. It's a macro website. I said this in the last video. The easiest way to do macros by far is downloading Tiny Task. You'll be able to run the file through here. So yeah, just make sure you download Tiny Task. It's in the description. I promise it's not a virus. Some people were saying it was, but promise you it's not. I just want to help you all out with uh, collecting potions. So. So off rip, as soon as you get into Souls RNG, the homepage, what you want to do is you want to scroll down into your servers and make a private server. I said this in the previous video, if you use a private server, it'll be a lot easier to get items in public servers. There will be little kids macroing and you don't want people to throw off your macro or steal your items. So by far, most optimal way to do this is enter your private server. And as soon as you load in, same with the original macro, what you want to do is you want to not move your camera at all. Keep your camera where it is. Every single time you spawn in, your camera will be in the same spot. So you really, really want to make sure the camera stays there. Don't right click. Don't use shift lock. Make sure your camera stays here. I would recommend going into your settings and resetting your character. This will center you on the spawn pad and make sure that the macro actually goes straight and it doesn't have to correct itself, which gives you the best results as far as correcting itself and getting items. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that's what I recommend doing just because it's kind of an easier way how to get it done. You really don't want to put on a big floating aura like Gargantua, Genesis, Iridescent Memory, Sailor, because those auras can actually throw you off. What the macro does is it lines itself up along the wall. If the aura you're using is too high off the ground or if it puts your character too high off the ground, your character will just walk over the ground, which completely throws the macro off. It won't line it up. You won't even be collecting items. So make sure when you start the macro, at least wear something on the ground, like undefined, defined works, arcane works, blossom. Just don't put anything on that rises you up like 10 studs. That's the best way to get as much items as possible. That's all the settings for in game. Like I said, don't move your camera. Make sure you don't have a crazy big aura on. And now I'm going to get into settings for tiny task, which will help you out with using the macro. So for your next step, what you want to do is you want to go into your search bar or wherever you have tiny task and open it up. And as you can see, it's in the corner right here. Uh, I'll give you the settings for what you want to do in a minute. Once you open up tiny task, put it somewhere where it's not blocking your screen. I would recommend doing it. You don't have to, but I recommend putting it there. And for settings, go into preferences. Make sure play speed is at one times. Two times will play it at double the speed, 100 times the speed. And you won't want to do that because it's going to throw the macro off. It's not going to be getting items. So make sure this is set to one time speed. So make sure it's on one time speed or else the macro will not work properly. Also, this setting right here, always on top. I covered this in the last video. So you see how if I tab in, it's still on the top. It doesn't go behind the tab on Roblox. That's because I have this setting on. If I were to turn off always on top, as you can see, Tiny Taz disappears when I retap into the game. So I would recommend having always on top on as well. It's not a requirement, but it is a recommendation. There's a couple more settings as well. You really, really, really need to make sure you have continuous playback enabled. This is going to make sure that the macro repeats itself overnight and you won't get disconnected. You have to have this on or else the macro will not work indefinitely. So you want it to be running the whole night. So make sure continuous playback is enabled. So once you finally have those settings and put in, what you want to do is you want to go to open and tiny task. You want to find the macro that you just downloaded in the description. You want to put it in. I have VIP, so I downloaded the VIP version because VIP gives you a speed boost and there is a difference between the macro you download. So I got to say that too. Go in your preferences, continuous playback, as I said, and press play and tab back in. And as you can see, the macro is moving. It lines itself up on the wall. And as you can see, I did change the item spawn. So it collects there now. And the items that spawn over here spawn in front of the billboard. And I had to adjust that as well. But other than that, the macro is pretty much the same. I'll just commentate a full walkthrough of the macro just to show that it works for all spots. So it jumps up onto the hill. There's an item spawn right here. It collects there. You go along the wall. It collects through the house. 
it resets once again as you can see it comes this way towards the tree where the spawn is behind the tree it collected that potion as you can see i jump up here i walk through here it collects through this spot as i walk through it you jump up the mountain and as you can see it jumps up and boom it collects there and it resets itself anyways yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys uh i didn't think i was gonna have to push a macro out for you guys but obviously since they changed the item spawns i decided to push one out for you guys anyways because the support on the first macro video was absolutely insane 15k views right now i would have never imagined that i could have gotten a video with that much attention i honestly thought that my youtube was shadow banned which is kind of funny but luckily you guys made that possible for me and just because that video got so much attention, I'm going to push out another macro for you guys. And I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you guys have been crazy on the subscribers. I hit 200 subs recently, and I'm super psyched about that. I'm on my way to 300, and I'm hoping that I can get into the partner program within a few months. That would be a dream come true. So anyways, that's going to be all. I hope you guys enjoy Era 8.5, and I hope the macro works well for y'all. Uh, it's really, really fun so far for me. The quests are fun. The auras are fun. And I hope you guys aren't cooked like me. Oh, yeah. Speaking of cooked, check it out. I now have six arcane darks. But you can go. But you can go.